Hello there, so just parked now, mission accomplished, I went to Forbidden Planet and the guy in there, I was saying to the guy, I don't really need this figure on a technical level in the fact that I have it loose and I have it carded, but technically I, I do, <laughs> it's weird this because I don't own that version of it, it's a VC09, it's a re-release of something that we've had before and you'll notice the bubble is bigger and obviously it's got the Disney bumped in the back so it is different, but I just have to have it because I want it and it's going to go in the line of, it's different, if you know what I mean, although it's the same, ironic. So there you go, and $13.99 ain't a bad price. So I'm at my last stop of the day, a Chinese supermarket here in Liverpool. Let's see what they have, boom. It's more than a supermarket, it's more like a warehouse supermarket type thing. Wholesale anyway, boom. Hello there, so I'm back at base now. I just thought I'd wrap this up by showing you what I purchased underneath the lights. And I thought I'd bring in this so we can do a comparison. That's the previous VC09 release, standard card anyway. So like I said to the guy in the store, and I think I said this in the car before, that I kind of already own this, but I don't in a way because it's new and just being the collector I am and the price it's at, why not just snag it now? And I know that I can line it up with my others and know that it is a variant and it's different. And Hasbro know that too because they've got me spending money on them again. <laughs> if only it was on a Blue Sky card, it would have been something even more different, but that doesn't matter. It's a good opportunity for people who haven't owned this figure, either loose or carded, to get it now at a good price because the one is compadre here, rocketed in price. And the difference in the figures is pretty much nothing, really. All of these figures would, would vary anyway because of the touch-ups by whoever does it. I don't know if a machine or an artist does it, but they all have a little bit of weathering and touching up on the um, chest and everything. So, And it is a good figure. I prefer the helmet of the other VCO9 variant, which I mentioned in a recent video. But here they are side by side. The only real difference is the bubble and also the size of the text. On this new version, they've gone for this smaller font, which is, I don't know, I like it when it fills up the bubble like that, that's better. And then the bubble size, let's put them together. You can see this one is wider, which I like that, because otherwise they would have been completely the same, because they've started to sm they've started to reduce the size of the bubbles. They, in the 
2018 and 19 vintage collection, the bubbles were ridiculously big, but they started to shrink them down again. But I like the fact that he's spread out a bit more. You can see the weapon there. I think the weapon's in his hand there, and it might even crease a little bit in the um, packaging because it's all kind of, I don't know, might bend a bit, I don't know. But now he's all stretched out and spread out, which is nice. And I'll show you the back of the card as well, which is definitely there's a difference there. Obviously, this is dated for 2019. 18, I believe. Oh, sorry, yeah, I've got that wrong. See? 2018. And this guy has all that stuff on the back, which is cool. So if you do want to get hold of an original VCO9, you might get lucky on the value of it on an, on an auction on eBay, but don't pay scalper prices. People will put this right up to 50 quid, dollars, whatever, I don't know. See, 2010. There's the history lesson. I love that. But then again, when you're hanging these things up, if you are keeping things carded, you never see the back anyway because you've got them facing the wall. That's all I really want to say on it. Thanks for joining me for this video today. Thought I'd just take you on a little journey. Why not, hey? Nice to go into Forbidden Planet, and I do apologise. I didn't really get a lot of time to film in there because I was on a... Whoop! Phone's moving. I was on a bit of a time situation with the parking, so I had to leg it and just point the camera and press and be dead quick. All right, thanks for joining me. The camera's going crazy, so I'm going to end it there. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only one.